Okay, yeah, how collected. Um, this is going to be kind of a bonus for you because I was literally, I was just um, sitting watching my TV. And part of my clairaudient gift is that sometimes I can taste, I can smell, and I can hear things. And literally, what I was tasting was somebody was drinking whiskey neat. And it's the afternoon, it's like two in the afternoon. And this is a single person in like flat or a house and your child is in the next room not wanting to see this because you're not supposed to be drinking. You've been ordered to by somebody to not to drink and you're drinking whiskey neat. Because this has come through, I can fucking well taste it and it's disgusting. Okay, so I'm going to find out who the hell is doing this. Okay, the angel spirit guides and ancestors. Who is drinking, heavily drinking, when they're not supposed to? Someone at the moment who has no courage. You've got no balls at the moment. Why? It could be a Leo. But who is drinking heavily while their child is in the next room, not wanting to see it? Oh, these are all in reverse. Let me just turn them over. Okay, the major arcana we got is the magician. Well, this is explaining why you're drinking. You're definitely drinking, whoever this is. The magician, it could be a Gemini, a Scorpio, a Virgo, or a Aries. Okay, this is, this is definitely someone who is drinking right now. What were you manifesting? A celebration? <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> okay, somebody now doesn't want me to talk. Okay, so this magician, they're quite strong. I just need to light the Palo Santo. Give me one second, guys. I've got to pause this. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, guys. I just had a major coughing fit there. So whoever this is about, I'm clearly... I'll be getting the answers as to bloody well why. Okay, Palo's lit. Okay, so this person who's drinking heavily when they're not supposed to... You're heavily burdened right now. It could be it could be to do with this Queen of Wands, this Aries Leo or a Sag, this female person. You may have wanted a victory with this person, you may have wanted to celebrate with this person, but they've burdened you somehow, or they're holding back from you because they're burdened by you. It could be because you drink. Okay, you offered them, you know, a nice cup of love. But at the moment, you haven't got the strength or the balls. Either this, or this is really nervous energy. If you've got a date tonight, this is really nervous energy. Whoever this is, could have a, a date tonight, and you're just trying to pluck up the courage, lose your inhibitions a little bit, but either way, you're burdened. Whatever this is, you are burdened. But you're not supposed to be drinking. I keep hearing that. Not supposed to be drinking. You've got a child, possibly in the next room, on their phone, What the hell? You're not, I just keep hearing, you're not supposed to be drinking. You've been ordered by somebody not to drink. And I can still taste it, it is really disgusting. This is neat whiskey. It's not whiskey on the rocks, this is neat. It's a raw, you know. Okay, why is this person drinking so heavily in the afternoon? Somebody closed out a cycle with you, and it is an addiction. You're an alcoholic. You could be a Capricorn. You're supposed to be closing out this cycle and you're not. You're not supposed to be drinking. You've succumbed to temptation. You are drinking. Stop it. All these cards are just all over the place right now. Right, why is this person drinking? Regrets over a child? You're sad and regretful over a new beginning, possibly, but this is the child. This is your child in the next room. Collective, whoever this is. Like I said, your child is in the next room. They're sad, but they don't want you to do this. You're not supposed to be doing it. 2.30 in the afternoon, stop it. Either that or you're doing this because... 
you're sad over a child, or you're sad that someone's rejected you, sad that you're no longer with a child. You are sad over a child. That's no reason to fucking drink. But either way, what I'm getting though, you already have a child with you right now. You've got their, their back is turned. They're looking at the three drinks you've already had. You've still got two on the fucking table. This is your child. They probably just told you to stop or don't do it. Temptation. This is your addiction, which you should have fucking closed the cy cycle out on. You don't have the strength and the courage to do this, do you? You need help. Manifest this help. Okay? Whatever is going on here. Yeah, you're celebrating. Yeah, they, it could be that you're not alone. It could be that you've already got an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius around you. Another woman. Or another man. There's no gender in tarot, but I'm really feeling that you're actually celebrating with a female person. You're drinking heavily with another female. Getting absolutely drunk could be why this child doesn't want to see it. What the hell are you doing? What is this person actually doing while they're drinking? What are they doing? Thinking you're trying to make a decision. You want to say the way to calm is yours. Your family. You're making a decision about family. But you're in hermit mode. You're drinking yourself. If you're not with this Queen of Wands, you're alone, but you've still got a child in the next room. You're heavily drinking. You're, you're trying to think. You're trying to make a goddamn decision about a family situation. You're juggling. Look, two two. You could be seeing two two right now. Angel numbers two two two. I just need beginnings. But why are you drinking? Please stop drinking. I just keep hearing, please stop drinking. Not at the. It's two in the afternoon. Hang on, let me just check the time. Literally, it is, in England, it is 2.22 in the afternoon. It's now 2.23, but my God. You want validation for my fucking gift? There it is. Jesus Christ. Anyone else in England might know to tell you that it is 2.22 in the afternoon. You may have started drinking last night and you're still doing it now. But stop. You're not supposed to be fucking drinking. Let's get some more on this. Why are you drinking? Because of an empress. You just found out somebody's pregnant. Maybe you... Well, no, you should... If you're pregnant, you fucking well shouldn't be drinking. If you just found out you got someone pre pregnant, possibly Libra or a Taurus, or you're dealing with a baby mother who don't want you, you really shouldn't be drinking. Or you're going to lose her, you're going to lose your ten of pentacles, you lose your family. Stop drinking. You feel stuck, you're hanging yourself. You're killing yourself. Stop. You want justice in the situation, you want a victory, but someone's walked away from you because you've betrayed them. It could be a cancer that you're dealing with, or you are a cancer, but someone's just walked away from you. You feel like they've stabbed you in the back, they've betrayed you. You wanted a victory with this person, you wanted justice with this person, you wanted, you wanted your empress. They've walked, she's walked away from you. She's gone. You feel betrayed or you betrayed them. You could be a cancer or there was somebody wants fast forward movement here. There's distance between you. It wouldn't have worked.
Leave these cups behind. If you've had eight shots already, that's it, walk away, leave it, done. Or otherwise she is going to walk away from you completely. This person knows that you're drinking. Could be why that she's already walked away from you. The addictions. Drinking is a very nasty addiction. And if this person knew about it, if she, if she's intuitive, you know, if she actually knows your history, or, if she, or you know, <sighs> the Empress is fucking smart. Okay, she will walk away from anyone if she sees any hint of an addiction. She's clearly seen it, and that's why she's walked away from you. Yeah, you might feel backstabbed, you might feel betrayed by this person. I really do think I'm dealing with... Uh, dealing with... I really feel like this is a Cancer, or this is a Libra here. We've got Libra Taurus with the Empress, but she's gone. If this is a woman, if you're a woman and you're a mother, please, for the love of fucking God, you've got a child, stop drinking now. You're a Libra or a Taurus woman. You're a mother. Whoever this is, you've got to stop now. You've got a child in the other room. You're not supposed to be fucking drinking. I just said social services. CPS, they're involved. Someone's actually going to meetings to try and sort this addiction out. And you've succumbed to temptation. That's, that was the devil card. In the mind of situation. How, is, how does the Empress feel about this person? They're gone from you. This could have been a Gemini. This Empress could have been a Gemini. Or this could have been your soulmate. They've now walked away from you. And then moving on. You could be a Gemini. But someone's walked away from you. If you're drinking. What action is this Empress going to take towards the collection if she's drinking? This Empress is going to go towards somebody else. Possibly. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> Here we go again, trying to block my throat chakra. Collective, whoever is doing the drinking right now, your Empress. Your person is going to offer their cup of love to somebody else. They want someone who is truthful and honest and loyal. Someone who's not going to hide anything. But they're not going to tell you. They're going to avoid this tower. They're going to avoid telling you they're doing it in secret. They can't take it anymore. If you had a family with this person and you have this alcohol addiction, they cannot take it anymore. They are done. It could be the soulmate of yours. It could be this Gemini. Here's the Gemini card as well. Someone wants to move away to somebody else. Let's get you some advice. You need some advice. A person who's heavily drinking in the afternoon right now has got a child in the other room, not wanting to see it. What is hell is their advice? Please leave a straight like an empress. Please. What is their advice? Take time to breathe out. If you're going through some shit, Put that bottle away. Take time to breathe. You need to take time. If you've broken up with someone, you need time to heal. If someone has walked away from you, you need time to heal. The answer is not in a whiskey bottle. It really isn't. Stop drinking now before the moon comes up, please. And you've got luckies on your side. You will become lucky out of this. Or you're lucky to be alive. If you keep drinking, you might end up in hospital with alcohol poisoning. 
This is what I'm sensing right now. This could literally blow everything up right now. Ruin everything. If you keep drinking while the moon is coming up, you'll end up with alcohol poisoning. I mean, it's like it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And someone is heavily drinking whiskey neat right now. You need to stop drinking now because luck will be on your side. If you, if you stop, if you... Because I keep hearing you, you do go to meetings. You keep going to the meetings. Tell them what you're doing. Tell them why. Get help. If you're already getting help, you need to step it up a bit more. But please don't lie to them. Don't lie to officials. Luck is going to be on your side. You will get through this. I promise you. Don't do it for yourself. Do it for your empress. Do it for your child. Or children. Please do it for them. Stop being so stubborn. This is going to end up making me cry. So I may have to stop this reading soon. This feels like, collective, this does feel like a personal read for whoever this is for. Literally, whoever is drinking right now, please stop. It's not going to end well. You could end up in the hospital, or you could end up in a fight, I keep hearing a fight, I can see police cars now. You could end up having an accident if you get in your car and you drive. I'm going to have to end this reading. Please, whoever, whoever this is for, please get help. Please, I, I beg you, get help. If you already got help, give them a ring, give them a call, tell them why. I really feel for you right now, okay? I, I really don't want this to end in a disaster, so please get help. There is a child in the next room, a teenager. Possibly a girl. Please go get help. Or at least talk things out with the bloody Empress before you lose her completely. Alright guys, I'm done.